video on Laravel tricks and this evening we are coming to learn how to implement audio trails in our level application to track a user's activity yeah uh, so it goes good we, okay so we have our login page um so in our previous videos we just set up a page to handle certain form submissions and we learned how to use one route to submit a form and one function in a controller to handle the the post request and the same get request so let's log in into our app so yes if you want to set up a login page just run this command php um let's go to our terminal okay php artisan make auth so this what this function this artisan command does is to create a scaffold for you it will create a controller create a view and render it for you and it also automatically create a route for you in my case i have already done my own customization so i will not go through the process so we we'll go straight to our application and login so um let me just pick the credentials and use the name from the database so we have email i think password is Okay, I already have them here in Safari. Password. Um, let me start login. Oh, four four route not found. Okay, we did obviously we did something wrong. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I go back to my login code. Hmm. Okay, so let's change this. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so for that, so let's go to the process again. It shows me rectified. So, okay, something. Okay, so here we are. So when I come to implement your audit trails, um, first of all, uh, let's go back to the code and let's create a model. So what you're going to do is to let's list them here. So this one is going to be your fillable. Fillable. So I'm going to create a migration and model. Eloquent relationship in three we link log function to every user activity and four render a table user display a table to view user activities I just do copy and paste to render so first of all let's go create our migration and our model so let's pull, pull this one here data okay for the application now okay so php artisan make PHP artisan make model audit trail. Let me add our minus M to create a model to create a migration for us. Mm. And I'll pick the file. Double shift. Okay, so this is my migration file. Mm. So we now set the, the fillable also. Let's duplicate. So we have user ID, username, date, and activity. Mm, so, so audit trace. Okay, we might need a soft delete. Soft delete. And the purpose of the soft delete is to ensure that when the data a record is deleted from the application, the data is still inside the database, but it's not visible to the user. Yeah. 
um, so string we convert this one to string convert this one to string so have your username um, let's start first with the user ID you cannot pick username if necessary username or let's say email but no, okay, name and you cannot pick the date the activity activity then we can add okay maybe activity the activity can be long so let's use let's say text um, yeah so we are good to go so let's run our migration php artisan migrate so if you run our migration let's check on database um let's look at our schemas um okay look at our schemas from db check uh, sorry for that let's just refresh First, so we have our audit trail table here. So we're making our queries from this table and writing and reading from this table. We have the IDs, ID name. Yeah, so now that we've done, let's pair a look and relationship. So before we do that, let's do our fillable. Now we have audit trail model. Just looking for my auditory model. Okay, found. So let's set a fillable. Detected fillable. And set a fillable. Yeah, we have. So you can say this one is done. So eloquent relationship. So public. Let's first function. function. Let's tie it to the user table. So then, then this belong to user class. It will not go into our user table to do another relationship. It has many. So let's do it. Um, do it somewhere here yeah. I just do the fillable public function logs that's it on the trio is better this way mm. that's many in this case, the user can perform multiple um, actions on the system to be captured. So the one user can have multiple um, audit trails, records. Audit trail class. It automatically bind the user table to the audit table using the user ID as foreign key. Yeah, so we're done with uh, relationship. Let's say done. Um, link a log to every user activity in order to achieve um, option 3 this is what you're going to do in the user model I'm going to create a custom function a getter and a setter public function I say public function log and this log function will pick a parameter of um, Pick a parameter of message. I'm going to make sure this log function picks message. Message. So the message will be the activity that the user is performing. So what we do here, we will not call the audit trail class or query. Create call the create method. For the create method 
user where the user ID will be equal to you're going to use um user ID is going to be this model this ID you will have the username the name as this name then can date so the date will be using carbon php carbon so carbon pass carbon pass the current time now to date string to date string to so pick a current date format so when I have activity the activity will be called to the message activity the activity will be this user this current user this name so let's put it in in quotes so you can have this the name of the logged in user let's put in UK basis it don't have an issue let me just get rid of um, let's put this suppress for suppress a file so we have this name then we now add a message yeah so let's do something to the message you can see message CPHB UC words message message so so for example audit will be for example message so message will be equal to let's see green zone edited sorry don't need a green edited user fields green zone so when you pass this variable here comes to activity to be the logged in user's name edited green edited user filter so that's how our audit field is going to work as a simple level way of um, a way of tracking users activity i get it very good now what you're going to do is to um integrate it into our form here so the moment the form is submitted it will capture the logged in user's name now the logged in user's name is called green zone so let's do a test let's integrate it into our controller so let's go back into our code bring this one here let me increase the size a bit the login control okay not login controller we need our form controller so um this is the form this is the controller we created to handle this home form so you've already gone through the process already and if you are confused you can look at our previous videos on how to handle um, lava tricks and easy way of handling form submissions in laravel yeah okay yeah so this is it so let's call the login user here user call our auth facade auth user to pick the login user now say it's in a transaction so Sorry, user. So now call the log method. The log method is here. So just call the log method. Hmm. 